Hi, my name is Chris Hoffman. I'm a graduate gemologist with Rio Grande. I'm here to talk to you today about hydrophane opals, many of which are Ethiopian opals, and what can happen to them if they get wet. Ethiopian opal is different from Australian opal because it comes from volcanic deposits rather than sedimentary deposits. They both have wonderful play of color. A volcanic opal can be hydrophane, a characteristic that allows the stone to readily absorb liquids. Because of this quality, Ethiopian opal can absorb water and change from being beautifully colored to dully translucent or even transparent. To demonstrate, we submerge four hydrophane opals into plain water. As the stones soak up the water, they gradually lose their play of color and become more and more transparent. Once removed from the water and allowed to dry, each opal regains its natural play of color. This happens at different rates for each stone due to the differences in density. As you see here, once all the water evaporates, the opal reverts back to its original state with no lasting damage. Be aware that a hydrophane opal will absorb any liquids, such as perfumes, lotions, or sprays. Because of this, customers should never shower or go swimming while wearing their opal jewelry. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about hydrophane opals, or how to test if you have a hydrophane opal, please don't hesitate to contact any of Rio Grande's graduate gemologists.